Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder Ariel Dunlap Jr. Coming out to you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated, written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. Today I want to talk about the apostate church, apostasy, the great falling away. The great falling away is talking about you, you that watching me, you that refuse to obey the word of God, you that, you that, uh, you that refuse to obey every word, you that fight the truth, the great falling away is talking about you. You in the church of God in Christ, Baptist, Medley, non-nomination, whatever I miss. Your bishop, your pastor. You watching me, that's talking about you. The great falling away. In Hebrews chapter number 6, and verse number 4. It is it possible for those who were once enlightened, and have tasted of the heavenly given what may partake of the Holy Ghost. And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the word of God. If they shall fall away, you know the truth. Some of you have been filled with the Holy Ghost. Some of you actually been saved. If they fall away <laughs> to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing that they crucified to them, crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. You will not turn from your sin and your wickedness. Some of you will say you backslid and won't come back. And put God to open shame. You preach you preach true, but now you preach false. Put God to open shame. Do you not know there's a lot of backsliders that ain't out of that's not that's not uh out of the church, so to speak, they still in the tent. They still among them jumping and shouting and preaching and speaking in some kind of tongue. The Father way talk talking about you, you put God to open shame. You put God to open shame. Shame on you. How you bring a shame on God? How you say you represent God? And you live it in sin and teach the other people to live in sin. And don't preach the truth. Put God to open shame. God is holy. God said be holy. But you ain't being holy. And you don't care who know. And you spend time with when folk backslide they hide. They don't want nobody to see them. Now they all out in the open. They don't care who see them. The fall away talking about you. You won't come back. Okay, I failed. How come you haven't repented? Why haven't you repented? Why are you still laying down there? Why are you wallowing in sin? Go to Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians, the great fall of the way. Chapter number two. Now let's look up apostasy and apostate. You don't see that in the scripture. You, you don't see that. You don't see that word in the scripture. That one of the religious words. You can't find it in the scripture. But let's show you what it means. And let's show you. And let's expose for being false. Apostasy. And we're going to the Google. It's not in the Bible. We, 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 we were waking this morning and somebody going to bring up the dictionary. 
you don't need a baby no dictionary. <laughs> and the question was, what do Christ fulfill the law mean? That means that the law was pointing to Christ. The law was pointing to Christ. It came to pass. The schoolmaster pointed us to Christ. Christ the fulfillment. Moses say there going to be one of rise among you, a prophet rise among you, and from among you, like unto me, him shall ye hear. The prophet prophesied about Jesus. So Jesus, it came to pass. Jesus, it came to pass. He came to pass. What the prophets prophesied about, they were talking about Jesus. He was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our indignity. That's talking about Jesus. He, he's here now. Apostasy. Let's see what the Google guy said. And we're going to take Google and take the word of God and show you that false. Apostasy. The abandonment or renunciation of a religious or political belief. Apostate. Apostate. I want to show you this. A person who renounces a religious or, or, or political belief or principle. Now this come from the this uh, uh, come from the theological cemetery. Let's see what it said. All of us as Christians share a common experience that is rather difficult that we don't often talk about that experience. Let me get the rest of it. We talk about apostate. Then we'll go to the scripture and talk about the great falling away. Okay. That experience is that we often know people that we thought were believers, that we thought were Christian, but later turned out not to be. In fact, most of us, if we were to think through our life, probably know several people like this, and some may even hit close to home and be rather heartbreaking. <clears throat> Apostasy is a real problem in the world today and has been true for God, people, for generations. Watch this. In my own life, I grew up as a youth pastor in my church that seemed to love the Lord Jesus and teach us the Bible. And then later, he left the faith, renounced Christianity. I don't need to go no further. Christianity ain't in the Bible. Christianity is not in the Bible. Christianity is false doctrine. Christianity is what America say it was founded on. Christianity come from 33 AD with that liar Constantine. Christianity ain't in the Bible, but holiness is in the Bible. Christian is in the Bible, not Christianity. Everything in Christianity, everything. Let go, let, let, let me not hold you. That's long as you do. Let, now let's talk about the great fall of the way. We'll show you who you are. Now I beseech you, from 2 Thessalonians 21, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye 
Be not soon shaken in mind nor troubled, nor neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. You ain't got to no read to be scared. You ain't got to no read to be troubled. If you save and live it right and obey the word of God, you ain't got to worry about that. You have no need to be afraid. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come now, except there come a falling away first. We get ready to show you who the falling away talk about. The falling away is talking about your pastor. And you, the church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Apostolic faith, non-nomination, assembly of God, and, and, and anybody else I miss. Whatever the name of your church is, uh, you included. Now the Father, we're talking about individuals, people. Except there come a great falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the man of sin. And the God, you going go to Revelation, you see about the mark of the beast, and the first beast, and the second beast. And you receive the mark in your forehead or your hand, 666. For knowledge, that's the mark of the devil, the man of sin. You don't take that, but here's the problem. If you ain't saying you're going to take it, oh, you're going to take it. The only people that's not going to take it are the ones who are saved and whose name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Everybody else is going to take it. You're going to take it. Yeah, you're going to take it. Let me show you quickly. Go to Revelation 20. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me show you you're going to take it. Well, I ain't going to take it. Yes, y'all. Yeah, yes, you are. Revelations. Let go of verse 20 and let's do verse 4. And I saw thrones and they said about them and judgment were given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast. Neither his image, neither had received a mark in their forehead or in their hand and they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Watch this. Verse 20 of the 19th chapter. And the beast were taken, and with him the false prophet, that were men before him, which, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that which with him, and both were cast alive, alive into the lake of fire and brimstone. Let me show you. I need to show you. If you ain't saved, you taking that mark. Some of you ain't saved now. Some of you hypocrite right now. If if you don't get set, if you don't repent, you don't know what Jesus is coming. You don't know what the man said gonna be revealed. You don't know that. You don't know what that's gonna happen. What if they come up tomorrow and you hear an announcement tomorrow? Your money ain't no good. You got to bow down and wish to be. You got to take his mark in your hand or forehead or else you can't buy nothing. If you ain't saved, you're taking that mark. Ain't no you saying you ain't going to take it. You're going to take it. You're going to take it. Watch this. Watch this. I need to show you this.
Go to Revelations and... Thirteen. Thirteen. Let me show you this. And eleven. And I beheld another beast coming out, up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and spake as a dragon, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and calls the earth, and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed, and he do a great wonder, so that he make fire come down from him on earth in the sight of men. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth. Verse 16. And he causes all, not some, all, both small and great and rich and poor and free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell say he that had them all. That number is six hundred three score and six. That's the devil. Somebody gonna be here when that time comes. If if you ain't saved, oh, you gonna take them all. And you say you ain't gonna take it. You lying. You gonna take it. Let me show you what you gonna take. Let me show you the one that's not gonna take it. Go to Revelation twenty. Uh, Revelation twenty and and seven. And with a thousand year word, I spy Satan shall be loose out of the prison, shall go out and deceive the nation which are in the four quarters of the earth, God and may God, and gather them together to battle the number of whom is the sand of the sea. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of these saints. If you ain't no saint, you're going to take that mark. You're going to do it. All right, here we are. Back to 24. I saw the throne day and said, Upon them, temple given them, and I saw the soul of them, be here for the witness of Christ and for the word of God, and which had not wished to be, neither his image, neither had received a mark in their forehead or in their hand. The only one that's not going to take the mark is the one that's saved, the one that's with Jesus. And you fighting Jesus now. You preach a false doctrine right now. You church of God in Christ, hypocrite. You're Baptist, you're Methodist, you're Episcopalian, whatever you call yourself. You spiritually. You spiritual. You non nomination. You fight God right now. You fight Jesus right now. You're fighting him. Watch it. Not back to long. Remember, uh, 25. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things, that, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Ain't the myth, don't the mystery of iniquity work now? Is the mystery of iniquity working right now? Every false prophet, that's the mystery of iniquity. Every wolf in sheep clothing, that's the mystery of iniquity. People, there's coming a time when every false prophet is going to leave from our midst and join up with the beast. They're going to leave from, yeah, we have them among us now. Oh, they're going to leave. Let me show you this. I'm going to show you. 
And then that wicked shall be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and sign and line one and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish why are you going to perish? Because you they receive not the love of the truth that they may be saved. We can't preach the gospel to you. You rejected it. You rejected it and said ain't nobody without sin. You rejected it and said ain't nobody perfect. You rejected and said can't nobody live holy, can't nobody live right. We all got sin. You rejected it. You rejected it and, and, and said, uh, if you want a miracle, you got to sow a seed. You got to sow a seed for your miracle. You rejected the gospel. Oh, yeah. You rejected it when you said you got to pay tithes and offering and keep Sabbath day and give first real offering if you want to be saved. And I told them that in my test today. Yeah. Right. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they may be saved. We tell you, you got to repent of your sin. You rejected, you say you gotta do it, Zebel E Roman 10-9. It's simply that Zebel E Roman 10 9. Don't worry about repenting. It ain't about works. For this call, God shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. And that they be, may be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure. In unrighteousness. You didn't believe. You didn't believe. You fought. You fought. You fought. We brought the truth. You fought and said ain't nobody put it. You br we brought the truth. You fought and you said ain't nobody without sin. We brought the truth. We told you Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will save you from your sin. Will take your sin away. His blood clears you from all sin. We preach that to you. It is in the scripture. And you rejected it. You said we don't have love. We don't show mercy. We don't show kindness. That what you said. Then we brought you the truth. You said don't nobody know everything. You said we self-righteous. You say it ain't no son of God, but Jesus is God. You show you your soul prayer claws and prayer blankets and all and ink and all kinds of seeds. They got all kinds of seeds now. Seed song. Yeah, you rejected when you brought false prophets, false prophets among us. You brought them in. They didn't sneak in. You brought them in. You said, come on in, Joel Osteen. Come on in, uh, Bishop Shelby. Come on in, uh, Todd Hall. Come on in, Brian Khan. Come on in, T.D. Jakes. Come on, uh, all you false prophets. Come on, come on in. See a false prophet, a false prophet, you're a false prophet, you you, you yeah, you welcome to come in and sit down and shut your mouth and be taught and get on the altar and call Jesus to save you. But God forbid that we put you up and you preach false doctrine. Like Todd Hall. I'm not, and, and, the boy name. Martin Johnson. 
spree well. It end up, it end up, all their fall probably on, 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 on the TBN and Word Network. If they stop, you rejected the Word of God. We told you got to repent. You said, no, just slip your hand up right now and accept you got your brother's age. Yeah, but he died in old years, you say. When Jesus said, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning as a rule. When Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sins to repentance. When Jesus said, Go and sin no more. When Jesus said, Then are you my disciples indeed, if ye continue in my word. When Jesus said, You are of your father the devil. For the devil sinned it from the beginning. When Jesus said, and the Bible said, he that committed sin is of the devil. When Jesus said, hallelujah, this is the blood of the New Testament which is shed for many for the remission of sin. When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Listen to me, not the Pharisee, not the hypocrite, not Moses, not the prophet, but listen to me. The father way is you. That is you. When your daddy get here, your daddy is serving the beast. Yeah, we got false prophets among us and hypocrites among us now. Wool and sheep clothing. Every wolf is going to pull off their sheep clothing and go with the false prophet. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let me, let me show you where go to first John. Let me show you this. Hallelujah. Uh, I was looking for the scripture that says, and I'm going to quote it, they went out from us because they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have no doubt continued with us. With us. But they went out there to make be made manifest that they are not of us. All oh, they had now but it's going to be manifested after a while. We ain't with you. Let's get that. They went out from us because they were not all of us. Two nineteen. First zone. Here it is. Let's start with 18. My God. Little children, this is the last time you have heard that Antichrist shall come. Whereby we know, whereby we know that it's the last time. They went out from us, but they were not all of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest. They won't let everybody know. I'm not with them folk. I'm not with the holy folk. I'm with the church of God in Christ. I'm not with the holy folk. I'm with the apostolic faith. I'm not with the holy folk. I'm with the Baptists and the Methodists. That it may be made manifest that they are not all of us. They won't let everybody know I ain't with them. Yeah. Then it goes on to say 22. For you apostolic watching me, you're hell bound, you're false prophet, you're hypocrite. 22. Who is a liar, but he that denied that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist. 
that denied the Father and the Son. Yeah? Uh, 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 for example, 4. 15. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God. You apostolic hell bound fall prophet you add to Christ. You go on ahead. You better repent. I just read scripture. I got apostolic faith walk me. The great fall of the way is you. Is you. You ain't living right. You you fight the truth. I tell people, don't. I don't care if you ain't living it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. If you fight it, you don't have a chance. Don't fight it. Just say, help me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. Don't fight it. Jesus didn't tell nobody to sin. Now, why you sin? Who told you to sin? Satan. All right. Let me get off here. God bless you. Thank you for being